Hello guys, I am Cabritus, the creator of the Sweet Babe Ink Detected Steam Creator page. The last weeks have been crazy and it completely changed my life. I'm still trying to get used to all of this. Um, some people have been asking me, uh, what are the next steps? What are my plans for the future? Who am I? What's my past? And this kind of stuff. So yeah, I intend to answer all these questions here in this video. To be honest with you guys, I never expected my creator page to become so big, but thanks to Sweet Baby itself, who tried to start a harassment campaign against me and make me lose everything I have on my Steam account, we are almost reaching the 330k mark. So yeah, thank you Sweet Baby. <laughs> well, yeah, um, so about my past, I, uh, I have always loved video games since very, very young. Uh, my dad gave me my first Nintendo, Super Nintendo, my first console ever when I was six years old. And the first game I ever played in my entire life is a fighting game called Primal Rage. It is a game about monsters fighting each other. I have always been a huge fan of dinosaurs. So yeah, I mean, it wasn't that hard for that game to catch my attention. But I still remember when my dad arrived with the Super Nintendo in the box and when I opened the box and when I saw the, you know, the cartridge, the art in the cartridge, on the cartridge, I was like, okay, I'm gonna play this game right now. And that's exactly what I did. Yeah, but I mean, before, uh, after this, I went to the PlayStation and it was such a great console, so many great games. I... I still love Dino Crisis 2, for example. I, I was even more fan of Dino Crisis 2 than Resident Evil itself. This is one of the main reasons that I want Capcom to finally remake, give us a new Dino Crisis, you know? And yeah, Monster Rancher 2. In fact, I do have Monster Rancher 2 on my Steam library now. And I would love to also have Dino Crisis 2 if Capcom released a, oh, a remaster of the game. But I mean, those two games, I think those two games are the, the games that most, you know, that I most played during the PlayStation 1 era, the 32 bits era. Of course, I did play many other games like Digimon, Digimon World. And I also played lots of Game Boy during that time too. I played Pokemon Gold a lot and kind of other games, you know. But yeah, I would say that those are the games that left a mark in my gamer history. Before joining Steam though, I was an Xbox guy. And let me show you guys something really interesting. Yeah, so yeah, this is my Xbox profile. This is this website's called True Achievements. It is a website for, you know, track your achievements, your game score on the Xbox system. So yeah, this is my gamer tag. And yeah, this is my gaming history all here. I never cared much about Game score itself, no, the, the number. Because I don't think this is a good metric of you know, the challenges or this kind of stuff that the kind of stuff that I like to do, which is the kind of stuff that I like to do um in a console, you know. What I do care about is this. I am what you could call a completionist. I like completing games, like getting all achievements on those games that are but only in games that I really, really enjoy, I really, really like. So let's take a look. I'm a huge Halo fan, you know, Halo franchise fan. I am almost 100% sure that I was the first Latin player, Latin and not Latinx, okay? Just to make it clear, not Latinx. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I am almost 100% sure that I was the first guy in the whole Latin America, at least in South America, I'd say, to get all achievements for Starfield. And it took me a crazy amount of time, but yeah, I was, I mean, I like the challenge, you know? I like to, the, 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 the feeling of fulfillment when you complete a game. And yeah, I have many other games here to produce, produce which is one of my favorite Boomer shooter is out there. This game is amazing. It's a, it's um it's a, an awesome indie game. Final Fantasy Seven. This this is the first Final Fantasy I ever played. Um, and well, there are many other Elden Ring. Elden Ring was such an amazing game, amazing experience. I loved I love those likes by the way. But what I do what 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 I wanna do 
Uh, what I want to show you guys is, yeah, this guy right here. Dragon Quest Eleven. Some people ask me, why did you stop playing on Xbox? Well, this guy is the reason. I can explain to you guys. When Microsoft added this game on the Game Pass, and it drew my attention because I, I looked at, at the art style and I thought to myself, man, this really looks like Dragon Ball. I think it's from Toriyama, you know, and it is. I ended up playing the game. I just fell in love with the battle system, the characters, the story. Everything is so amazing about this game. And yeah, I did 100% achievements on this one. I Okay, I really love this game. Let me do all achievements. And that's what I did. So I started, you know, caring more and more about Japanese games and JRPGs in general. For example, I got the... It's Octopath Trailer. Yes. I got the... 100% achievements on Octopath Traveler. It took me almost 200 hours. Yeah, almost 180 hours, actually. But still, I got an hour. And I started, you know, playing more and more JRPGs, aside from the average boomer shooters that I always loved. And unfortunately, Xbox is not a great place to play if you like Japanese games. I don't know what Microsoft, I mean, I don't know what, what is so hard for Microsoft, what makes it so hard for Microsoft to make sure that those games get a Xbox version, but we, we have been seeing more and more JRPGs abandoning the, the, the platform, skipping Xbox. So this is why I made a change for the Steam, because on Steam, you don't have to care about this stuff. You know that your games, your Japanese stuff, is going to arrive on Steam. I mean, a hundred percent. Okay, so I may I have this collection here. I see those are my all my JRPGs, and I could say that almost half of them, if not if not more than half of them, are not available on Xbox. For example, I'm a huge fan of Dragon Quest. This guy is not available on Xbox. This guy is. I did all achievements on Xbox for this guy too. This isn't. This is not. This is not. And this is not. This is the original version of Dragon Quest XI. The only, the only version um, available on Xbox is the Definitive Edition. So yeah, I mean, I just got tired and I thought to myself, yo, it's just better if I just move to Steam. And of course, I love completed games here on Steam too. You know, for example, I have 42 game, completed games right now. You guys can see that I really, really love JRPGs and boomer shooters. I know, I know, I know. It's quite a combination, isn't it? It's, I mean, it's, yeah, I mean, it's not every day you guys see someone who's, who has this combination of tastes. But I mean, what can I do? Thanks God, Steam is a great place if you want to play both of this kind of stuff. Right. I think that answers about who am I and what my past is, right? Okay. Um, so about the future, what plans I have... Um, going on, the, oh, what roadmap I have for the Sweet Baby Detected stuff. Okay, so this group uh, is only about the Sweet Baby. Uh, this, the game is involved with Sweet Baby. For now, I will not add. Uh, some people say to me, hey, I have, I have found this game. He had, it, it, this game has some kind of involvement with this DI company and that other DI company. Yeah, I know. I'm aware of this. And yes, I do intend on expanding. I know that Sweet Baby is not the only one who's doing this. And yeah, I know that Sweet Baby um, is just, you know, um, one among many. Yes. So yeah, I intend to, 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 to expand those. And this is why I'm creating the website. Let me show you. Let me show you guys really quickly the website. Yes, that it is. It is called didetected.com. And right now, a prototype has been built to, for the website. Um, it's going to take a, um, a little bit, some time between two and three weeks, but we will get there. So right now, if you go to the didetected.com, uh, you, you will just see this, okay, this static image 
but don't worry, the website's coming. And yes, on the website, I am planning to talk about every single game from every single one of those DEI companies out there that we that we know about. And I am, you know, I intend to have a section to talk about indie games because I really truly believe that we should promote good stuff, you know. I mean, we should promote those game developers that give us, that show us good examples on how to build games. Games, gamers and developers, we need each other. We should work together. We need developers who respect us as consumers and players. And we gamers and consumers, we are willing to also respect them and support them and their projects if they do that. It's it's pretty simple, right? I think it's pretty simple. And I am 100% sure that I'm not doing anything wrong. This is about consumer awareness. This is about being respected and knowing what you are getting when you buy a game. Games are not cheap, especially here in Brazil. So I think it's fair if we know what we are getting when we buy a game, right? There's nothing wrong with this. Definitely nothing wrong with this. So yeah, um, I intend to talk to promote good indie games. I intend to promote good uh, board slash ta tabletop games on my website too. I've been getting contact from some some guys who really like board games, tabletop games. And yes, I will do my best to promote good tabletop games too. Uh, I just got to be honest, I am not very well familiarized with tabletop stuff. I've played a few tabletop RPGs in the past, like Dungeons and & Dragons and some Brazil-specific RPG systems we have back in the day. But I will do my best to promote you guys' good stuff out there, right? This is going to be about it. And I, I also intend to maintain this YouTube channel updated. You know, I'm going to talk about video games here. I'm going to talk about video games, world news, and big gameplays, live streams. I really want to get in touch with the community. The community that, orig that originated from this creator page. I think it's beautiful, I think it's organic, I think it's legit, and I think it's the most precious thing that we could get out of everything related to this, you know? And I really want us to be a community who supports those developers that are willing to do what we want, that are willing to listen to what we say and do what we want, that are willing to respect us. I think that I think that this is it. Um, guys, please wait. It's going to take a little bit of time. You know, like I mentioned, it could take up to three weeks, maybe a little, little bit even more than that. But the website's coming and I am intending to, to change this creator. Yes, to talk about every single DEI game. The website is just, you know, the beginning. and. I really hope that we can build something meaningful in the long term, not only for ourselves, but for the gaming industry itself. Let us be a reference for those who want to, for those who just want to to play good games and build good games. This is this this is just my first video. I, I am. I mean, I still. I know that I'm. I, I I'll try to get better with time. And it's kind of hard for me to do this. You know, this is the first time ever I try to record a video. So yeah, guy. Um, thank you everybody for your support. Thank you for believing this cause, and I see you guys on the next video. Bye bye.